It is essential that we gather B-roll. B-roll is any supplemental video that's considered to be secondary to your primary footage. As part of our contract, we supply our event partner with a 30 to 60 second promotional video recapping their event. In order to create the best possible promotional video, we need to film a variety of B-roll shots that can better help tell the story of how awesome and well run each event is. This promo consists of B-roll taken at the event, edited together with the music track, logos, slow motion, and telling an overall story. When filming B-roll, we always want to make sure our camera is in the highest quality setting. You can check these settings via the camera menu. If you are still unsure after checking, reach out to your point of contact in your event book. With our promos, we always want to tell a story. We always need shots that show a start, middle, and end. To start, all footage should be shot using a tripod or some other form of stabilization. Handheld footage is unacceptable unless specifically directed otherwise. Some examples of shots needed when filming B-roll that will help us tell the story include ground level action shots, players warming up, goals scored, goalies making saves, college coaches on the sideline, close-ups of club slash high school logos on players' helmets, tight, well-filmed gameplay shots, close-ups on face-offs, and establishing shots of the venue. The B-roll you gather should be approximately 70% gameplay, 20% sideline and college coaches shots, and 10% venue. Next you will see examples of well-filmed B-roll used in one of our completed promo videos. All the shots used were framed correctly, followed the action, and were full high definition quality. Again, shots we need include college coaches on sidelines, college coaches logos on apparel, athletes putting on gear, athletes warming up, close-up of face-offs, goals, coaches coaching, team huddles before games and during halftime, goal celebrations, close-up of game action, big hits, great saves, trophy presentations, and all-star game gear. Shots we do not need include end-of-game handshakes, concession stands, athletes walking with no equipment on. Next you will see examples of poorly filmed B-roll. Here in this shot we see a poorly framed venue shot with a chair folded on the ground, a gloomy looking sky, and people that aren't really paying attention. Just an overall bad poor shot of what we want to portray the venue to look like. Here we see a very shaky face-off. It is too zoomed in and it is not stable at all. Whoever filmed this did not use a tripod and or they were zoomed in way too far, making the footage shaky and unusable. Here, in this third shot, we see a very wide, shaky shot of the action. The main problem with this shot is it is hard to find or follow where the action is. And again, it seems no form of a monopod or a tripod were used for stabilization, making the footage very shaky. And in this final shot, we see shaky footage of a plane landing. Just an overall unnecessary shot of B-roll that we will not use. Thank you for watching this video and please reach out if you have any additional questions.